Okay, how much time we got here? 36 minutes, something like that. Okay, so I'm going to weigh in on this. <sighs> Donald Trump and all this, this stuff, right, with uh, the oil pipeline, car companies, and all this kind of that and the other. <sighs> Number one, let me tell you where I stand with cars. I detest cars. I hate cars. Cars are the bane of human existence. They are the stupidest thing that could be possibly. They're fun. You know, I like to. I don't like to. You know, it's convenient to poop around along wherever I want to go. This and that, right? But then when you do it, you get on these roads with a kajillion other cars. I mean, anyone in any kind of in city town, right? You go down the road and there's just thousands of cars at any given moment, any given day, at any given location. These cars are going to kill us. They're going to kill us. Now I can't see. Anyway, I don't need to see. Right? Now he says, oh, he's going to get these car companies this and car companies that and get them back in here. As far as I'm concerned... The age of the car is over. They're nothing but a pain in the ass now. People like to go this and like to go that. But like I said, there's billions of them. They're sucking the life out of our neck. Out of the planet, out of the civilization, community, people. The, the, it just There's no description. I can't come up with a word to describe the bane that the car represents. Now, I, when I was in the Army, I went to, you know, Germany. Spent three years in Germany. We took the train everywhere. You talk about wonderful. Oh, my God. The train was absolutely fantastic, right? You sit in the train. You can have a beer. You can do whatever you want. Snack you anything. People talk jaw. Look out the window. You know, most of the time I've owned a car. You know what I've seen? Other people's license plates and lines in the road. I don't get to look at a dang thing. I've traveled thousands and thousands and thousands of miles. I didn't see any of it. Except for someone's license plate and bumper and lines in the road. I want to look around. The train allows you to do that. In Germany, Europe... On the train, you can get 15 minutes from anywhere. And if you didn't, you could take a, you know, go to a bus, the trolley, and then take a cab. Back then, they had marks, you know, Deutschmarks. You five, ten marks, zzz, off you go, you're at the house. No problem. Public transportation. Mr. President, oh. I don't want any more cars. I want a train system. I live out here in the Nevada desert. I'm six miles out from Death Valley, right? I go 80 miles one way to go to town to get groceries and this and that, right? In a car. You know how dangerous that is? You know how many people I've heard about and seen die on I-95? Right? And look at all the dying people dying. What? A small gauge passenger rail next to the big red something. Something. Please. Something. To where I can get on the train, go to my places, and blah, blah. I probably have relatives or friends wherever I go that they can poop around, you know. Or something. Right? Imagine the jobs you can create. Making, you know, rail cars, putting in the rail. People that run it. All this stuff. Don't concentrate. The cars, the car companies have had their day. They've had their day. They're, they're, they're just a blight. They're a blight. They're terrible. You're talking about all these EPA things. You know, this thing is just going off because I made a couple of comments on the, the water protectors. I'm with them. I stand with Standing Rock. Hardcore. 100%. Right? Because he signed these oil pipelines. 
Segue to my next subject. Why? God, tell me why. Why are we still stuck in the carbon age? It's like the, the Stone Age, the Bronze Age, the Iron Age, the Carbon Age. Why? We're still standing next to a campfire. Look at the society. Look at these gleaming buildings. They still have a furnace. They still burn a fire to warm themselves. Are you kidding me? We're into the next millennium. You know, what, three years they're saying that, you know, oh, we're going to be back into the roaring 20s again. 2020. And we're still standing next to the campfire. We're still relying on fire, on wood in its many forms. Coal, charcoal, gas, oil, carbon. Why? Why? Why are we still standing next to the campfire? We're still standing there with a spear and all looking at it. Roasting beef pieces. Pieces of beast. Why are we doing that? You've got to be kidding me. Ugh. Segue to my next subject. You want to create jobs. Mr. President, and congratulations, by the way, to President Trump, okay? Two things. You want to create jobs, and you want to do this, and, and satisfy all the people and all the environment and all this stuff, this and that? What, Mara? Oh, God, I know, Mara. You hear me yelling, you think I'm in trouble. Okay, go. No, get out. Outside. Outside. Okay. These people are yelling at the other people. Number thing, the money thing. Okay, outside. Let's see how that works. Okay, uh, no, I don't want the Federal Reserve audited. I don't want anything to, to do with that. You know what? I don't want you to have anything to do with that. Outside. Right? The people can do that. If the people got up en masse and took their money out of the banks and put them in credit unions, they would destroy the Federal Reserve. Or did something different. Say, oh, no, we don't, I don't care to do that. And just forget it. You know what I want audited? I want you to audit the U.S. Patent Office. I want you to go into that office, into that place, right? I want you to take out every single patent that the oil companies have bought and sequestered that could create energy, that could, you know, do make us a better place, make America great again, right? All those patents, I want you to get a group of people, a committee, go through every patent, not every single patent, but, you know, uh, of the electric cars, all these things that don't use oil, that the oil companies have bought, and stashed away and hidden from the human race and confiscate them. Say, look, oil companies, you guys have had your day. You know, we've been in the carbon age long enough. That's all that's to it. You've had your day. You've made your trillions of dollars. Now take your money and go to the Bahamas. Go enjoy. You, it's over, guys. I'm sorry. We have to move on. You know that the carbon age has boat anchored us the human race, humanity, has boat anchored us to this planet because they will not let innovative ideas, will not let these things that people come up with come to fruition so they can make a buck. That's just idiotic. That's lunacy. It's absolute lunacy. I wanted to write you a letter and this and that, but, you know, I, I don't know. I want it made public because I think, you know, I want credit for the idea. I think it's a cool idea. You go into that dang U.S. Patents Office with, God, what are you going to need, 30, 40, 50 people? You go in there and you go through them patents. 
and you find out, find and pull out and confiscate workable patents. You can even recompense them. You know, here's fifty bucks, whatever amount, right? For your patent, we're confiscating them, and we're going to see if they work, and we're going to employ them in our society. Imagine the leaps in technology, in knowledge, in economy, in the the workforce. Oh my God, we would we would sail light years into the future in just the next four years, eight years. If you went and told them all the companies, and leave that Federal Reserve alone because the people can do that. They say, you know what, we're just tired of that. And, uh, and tell them people, you've had your day. Okay? Don't piss me off. Take your money. Go to the Bahamas. Go to Fiji. Go have fun. Spend your money. Put it out back into the economy. Rise the economy for the world and all the people in it. Spend that dang money you got. What are you doing keeping it anyway? Are you really having fun? I don't think so. How much fun do you have, Mr. Mr. President, with all them billions of you can't, you know, uh, What? Ah! But that's what I say. Get us out of the carbon age. Get us out of cars. You, those, you could tit for tat the automotive industry to the to the public transportation industry. Instead of making cars, they make railroad cars, those dining cars. Remember back in the, you know, the train days, and they had those beautiful dining cars. The trains are so much fun. And, and everybody, you know, and work by schedule. Imagine how much good you could do by putting a train schedule, you know, because everyone's got to work by schedule now. They can't just willy-nilly, which, you know, hey, you know, they get sleep, because, well, the train's not running, I guess, I'm, you know. Get some sleep, <laughs> right? What? 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 Okay, get us out of the carbon age. Switch the car automotive industry to public transportation, right? Audit the U.S. Patent. I keep wanting to say Federal Reserve. Audit the U.S. Patent Office. Harvest all those ideas from it that have been stashed away by these people that don't want them because it would take their bottom line or their profit margin, lower it. Hey, too bad, so sad, guys. You got lots of money, take it, go spend it. That's what we should do. That's what you should do, Mr. President. And uh, please, get us out of the carbon age. It's not paying off anymore. Thank you for your time. Peace. Bye. Oh, live by your wits, not by your worries. Glasses back on. The world.